What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're starting the day off in the bait shop. Because in today's video, we're going to go fishing. Either I, I might go later on this afternoon or maybe tomorrow. I'm not for sure yet. It looks like it's going to rain. It's been raining for like four days straight, so why shouldn't it? And to go fishing, you need some bait. And I was looking at the old tackle boxes and uh, they're looking pretty slim. So I figured, hey, why not make a video where we make our own baits in the beginning and then later on in the video, take them out and try to catch fish on them. And that's when I realized I'm out of plastic. Yeah, I'm slick out. I ordered some more. It'll be here in a few days, but we ain't got a few days. But it's a good thing that I always have a bunch of leftover plastic. So today we're going to be using leftover plastic to make baits and then taking them out on the water and try to catch a fish. Not just a fish, hopefully a couple fish. So yeah, before we get into it, I do want to show y'all I've been adding to the bait shop. I started a bait wall and not just that bait wall right there, an actual bait wall with a bunch of different companies. Oh yeah. We're just now getting started. This is just like what I had like in the boat laying around. Starting over here on the right, we got some headbangers. I'm not going to read all of them, but y'all can see. We got a whole bunch of companies, some Guggen, some 13 Fishing, some Carl's Amazing Baits, oh yeah, Big Bite Baits, Good Old Strike King, Creams, Rage Tail, Zoom, some more Guggen's, oh yeah, Z-Man. The plan is to go all the way across, y'all see where I didn't finish the roof, don't, don't mind that. But I plan on going all the way across and maybe down, but on this side, I'm saving this for Kelly Baits. This is where all of our bags are going to be, starting from the ones we first started with all the way to the new ones that should be coming pretty soon but yeah i think that's pretty cool i love baits i love soft plastics that's why i started the whole business doing it and i don't just love my soft plastics i love other companies this is what got me into it like these guys right here made me fall in love with not just fishing because all these companies make awesome baits that help you catch fish but also because i'm kind of weirdo and started collecting plastics that i didn't never even wanted to fish with i just liked it because like it was a new color or something but i just started buying it just to have it that's why like some of these still have baits in them like, look at that zoom that's a full bag of zoom Th those excite baits all these like full bags of baits these are sakoshi bugs these are expensive little things i, I think i used one out of it that's it <laughs> like, so yeah that is the new bait wall who knows it's probably gonna go all the way over here it's probably uh, all the walls are probably just gonna be covered with it eventually so yeah step one i guess is to go through all the leftover plastic i got see which one we want to use so basically when i'm in here making baits i got these cups right here i'll fill them up about cup and a half it depends on how many baits i'm making whether i'm making them for an order or just for personal use or whatever so i'll fill them up with plastic cook it up put the color in there and then i'll do a couple runs of bait and then when i've made the baits that i need to make i'm usually left with something like this just i mean just a little bit left in the cup just a little puck that that usually i just pull out just like this like this is still good plastic it's just not enough to really do anything with and i never throw these away because this stuff is super expensive and it's pointless because this is still good plastic so usually i just take it right over here i'll throw her in there and as y'all see this thing is plumb full of just plastic and honestly that's not even a lot i've just recently done a bunch of remelts and gave them away and did all that so that's literally just like three weeks worth so yeah i guess first things first let's dump some of it out go through a couple pucks find a couple cool colors that i think will go well together or maybe something i don't know if it's gonna go well together and we'll just test it out and yeah let's just see what we can make boom give her a little dump yeah some of this i forgot i cut up and then just tossed it in there so oh gosh yeah cheese and oh okay okay that was actually a lot more than i was expecting Dude, there's whole baits in here that I just like, I just threw in there. What the heck? So yeah, I mean, look, that's a whole swim bait. What the heck? <laughs> really? I, do, I don't even know where to start. Like, so I see this. We got like this white pearl with a bunch of green in it. This might be a player. Okay, let's put this one. Let's go ahead and throw it in a cup. Boom. First color. Now for this first one, I kind of want to do something that I think will go well together. Since we got that green and that silver and then that pearl... Uh, let's see let's dig around for a second all right so this is what i'm thinking so we got white pearl with a bunch of green and then some silver flake in it and it's got that pearl effect i'm thinking we add this with this little i mean this is a thin sliver of red but i also think has some pearl effect in it throw those two together and then also add in this green i think this is actually like a mud motor color but it has purple and blue in it i don't know why but i think these three colors might make something pretty awesome i don't know this is all just one big experiment but we're gonna get to chopping why did i do this why did i dump this out now i gotta put it all back <laughs> Microwave. 
So all right, while that's heating up, now is the fun part. We get to go through all the molds and find out what bait we're actually gonna be making. So the place I'm going fishing has a lot of like grass edges and a lot of layovers and stuff. So really you do a lot of flipping and pitching. What I'm looking for is something that I can like Texas rig, weightless rig. And whenever I think of that, two baits come to mind. And that is this mold right here. Five inch flapping jacks, AKA the Kelly bug. And then one of my new molds that's unreleased yet for Kelly bait, but it's this one right here, big papa. 4.5 rocket grub. The Kelly bug is literally the perfect flipping bait to me. And then this rocket grub, it's a close second. It really is. Now, is this color going to be a good color for a flipping bait? I don't really know. Whatever it turns out being, that's where we're going to be throwing. So I think we're going to start off first with the old Kelly bug. Oh yeah, we got some meltage. That color is looking a little funky. Let's see. Ooh, hold on now. Bro, okay. It's almost like a pearl brown with like a red tint to it. That is not bad at all, okay. Let's get the rest of this melted. And then we're actually gonna throw this in the vacuum chamber to get some of these air bubbles out. And then we can actually get to injecting. Dude, I'm excited. This is this is looking pretty good. So here we go. So this is something that's relatively new to me and probably new to a lot of y'all too. This is a vacuum chamber or a vacuum pot. Basically, you got the lid, you put your plastic down in this pot, set the lid on top, close it on up, then you turn this vacuum pump on and it sucks, or I guess the vacuum, all of the air out of the pot and out of your plastic. So if you, you know, maybe heat up your plastic too hot or over mix it, or a lot of times it just comes from having your plastic sitting in somewhere that's not temperature controlled. There's a lot of different ways you can get bubbles, air bubbles, moisture in your plastic. So it's pretty common. Plastic is ready, bubbleless, up to temp. Let's go ahead, fill our injector. And here we go, first run of the Kelly Bug. This color is looking pretty cool. It's a lot better than I was expecting, especially adding that green and that red. You never really know what's gonna happen. But I think that white pearl helped a lot make this color actually look pretty decent, so. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go. Okay. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's check these out. Boom. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That red with the white and green, it almost turned it like a rose gold color. Bro, that is not bad at all. I always think the Kelly Bug does a really good job like displaying the color. Hey, for the first run of just some random plastic that was sitting in a trash can 10 minutes ago, not bad at all. Those will definitely fish. All right, y'all. So for remote number two, I went through that little bucket and I grabbed everything that I thought had some chartreuse in it. Like this is definitely just all chartreuse, but I think this one is like a watermelon red with some chartreuse in it. I'm not for sure. And then just a random, I had random chunks of blue with blue flake in there. We're going to throw these two together. I don't know what it's going to do. But the idea of chartreuse with blue, it sounds pretty good to me. So let's melt this down, see what we can make. All right, y'all. Here we go. So I know this is only our second run of the video, but this is probably gonna be my favorite color that we've made. I, I really don't see anything beating it. This color is so sick, bro. It turned out 10 times better than I imagined. And I cannot wait to see it in this little rocket grub. Bro, this is so sick. Chartreuse and blue, yeah. Yeah, it's the two that you need to freaking combine right there. This is so dope, wow. Also, I had to pull out the Mondo injector for this one. This is a 9.5 ounce injector. So the little guy, this ain't gonna do it. This is you. This is the guy I should tell you not to worry about. All right, all right, y'all. Here we go. I'm super excited for these. Boom, bro. That color is insane. Wow, 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 wow. So there we go. Run number two. A watermelony color that also has some chartreuse in it, and then some random blue chunks that I had. Made this. That color is sick. I love this. And also, check out the Rocket Grub. That is coming to Kelly Bates really, really soon. I love this bait. Super sick, super versatile bait in that color. Yeah. All right, y'all, run number three. I grabbed all of the white, all of the white, pearl, everything that was in there that had a white base is in this cup. We're going to use that. And then this little pup of Mud Motor Red. Absolutely love this color. And we're going to see what all this white with just this little bit of mud motor in that red flake does. I'm hoping for like a dirty pearl, something like that. I don't know. All we can do is chop it up, get it in the microwave, and see what happens. All right, y'all, here we go. This one, it's, I mean, 
it's all right, I guess. Looks a little bit like throw up, so. But hey, this is just showing y'all the ups and downs. Two remelts. The last color was probably one of the best colors I've ever made doing a remelt. And now this one, probably up there with one of the worst. I mean, it's not looking great. Don't get me wrong, it'll definitely still fish. We'll probably catch a fish on this. That brown turned it like a nasty, mucusy, yellowy, greenish. I don't know, it's, it's bad. All right, <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's see what these turned out. I mean, it's not terrible. Not the best of remelts, but hey, we got some nice fishable jerk baits, and that's all that matters. I mean, look at this jerk bait though. It is a uh, this design by Epic Bait Molds, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to start making these for Kelly baits. It's gonna be sick. All right, there we go. Jerk baits are done. We got one more run. Oh no, I cannot leave the house without something finesse. So let's get to it. All right, y'all, and for the last remelt of the day. We're combining two of the most famous soft plastic colors, I think, in the industry. Junebug and Watermelon Red. These are two of the most basic, most popular colors. Two fish catching machines. What will they create when you put them together? We're about to find out. All right, y'all, here we go. For the last and final run, like I said, I can't leave the house without something finesse. So we're doing a run of Old Neds and a run of Finesse Worms. By the way, this color... Pretty decent, pretty decent. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's check these out. The last run of the day. Start off with the old finesse worms. Yeah, just as I expected. I didn't have enough plastic, so they didn't really turn out two of them. No, none of them did. So I might have to rerun these. But you can see, color ain't bad. It really just turned out as like a bluish green. Not terrible, not terrible. I'm gonna rerun those. Hopefully the Neds turned out a little bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. The old Ned, there we go, baby. As y'all can see, that color ain't bad at all. Those are going to work perfect for where we're going. Nice and finesse. Junebug and watermelon red, who knew? Made such a great color combined. Let's go. But all right, guys, literally 30 minutes later. That's all that took to do these runs. Four different runs, four different colors, all remelted plastic that was just sitting in a trash can, collecting dust. Probably was never going to get used for anything else besides this right here. And we have made usable baits that we are going to be able to take fishing. Probably this afternoon. It's looking pretty decent. We might go this afternoon, if not this afternoon, tomorrow. But here is the final spread. Boom. There we go. Four different baits, four different colors. Those are looking perfect got the kelly bugs in that brownish looking color not the best color but also not the worst it's almost like a gold pretty decent pretty decent and then honestly my favorite the chartreuse and blue made that chartreuse green color bro oh my gosh that is so good looking that is probably one of the best remelts i have ever done and then right next to it probably one of the worst colors i've ever made but also again not terrible we're gonna be able to fish them those jerk baits right there not bad, not bad. It looks a lot better in the jerk bait than like in the cup. Then last but not least, watermelon red plus some June bug in the old Ned. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go. Now all that's left to do is to get these things rigged up, get the boat hooked up, go out to the pond, try to catch a couple fish. Y'all gotta stay tuned. All right, y'all, here we go. We got the boat hooked up to the truck. Got all the gear loaded up. Got a couple bags of the old baits that we made yesterday. Ready to go and ready to give it a dangle. Got a couple of them already rigged up. We are ready to get to it. There's an overcast today, but it's not supposed to rain. And it's also supposed to get kind of sunny here later on this afternoon. So hopefully the fish are biting. Hopefully we can get hooked up on a couple of these baits that we made. So yeah, we got about an hour drive till we get to the pond. So I will see y'all there. Alright y'all, we have made it out here. I will say we ran into a little bit of rain on our way here, so we might end up getting wet. Hey, as long as we catch a couple fish, I'm down for it. I'm sure the fish don't care, they're already wet. So but like I said, this video, we are only using the baits that we made earlier in today's video. And we're starting off with my least favorite one. I got this one and then my most favorite one tied on right now. But we're gonna start with this little jerk bait. I think we're gonna catch a fish on it. So first cast, boom. Here we go create the catch is officially underway we did the create part now it's time to do the catch this is the first video i've done like this so if y'all want to see more like this more create the catch where we 
create some baits, and then we take them out and actually try to catch a fish with them. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know by hitting that like button. I low-key want to make it like a little series. I will say this jerk bait looks absolutely sexy in the water. I mean, I, I keep saying jerk bait. I guess it's more of a fluke style bait, a soft plastic jerk bait. But two of the four baits that we made, but by the way, I didn't actually go and make those finesse worms. So we don't have those. We just have Neds. So, but two of the four baits we're using are actually unreleased. So really we're kind of like product testing to see how they do, how they actually perform. I haven't fished with either of these yet. So this is the first time I fished with them and the first time I fished with these colors, of course. So I think we're gonna get on some fish. It feels like a fishy type of day. Y'all can see the green cord because last time I took this boat out, I went to pull the trolling motor up and the cord snapped and I about went in. I mean, I about went in. Landed straight on my ass. It was not fun. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, I missed it. I missed him. Oh, I missed him. That was the first bite on the jerk bait though. As soon as it hit, as soon as it hit, he took off running with it. I swear to you, nobody texts me ever all day. If I'm not doing anything, nobody will ever text me. As soon as I start fishing, my phone starts blowing up. It's insane. It's like they know. Yep. There's one. There's one. Yep. On the old jerk bait. He ate it as soon as it hit the water. He ate it like a top water. It's a little guy. But he ate the old jerk bait, baby. Let's go. Let's stink and go. Chill, 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 chill. Boom, baby. First fish on the old jerk bait. Little buddy didn't care that it was ugly. Oh, gosh, yeah. Boom. He was right up there, right on a grass edge. I seen him come up, eat something, cast it right on top of him. That jerk bait is real light, so it just slowly sinks. And I watched him come up and eat it. Appreciate you, baby. Fish number one. Let's go. Might be ugly. Might be ugly, but it's gonna catch fish. Just gotta figure them out. I see a lot of them busting up shallow right on these grass edges. So that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to get pretty much as shallow as I possibly can. And then just let that thing sink. Then lift up, see if anything's there. And if it's not, then I start kind of working it like a jerk bait. That feels good though. Fish number one, get that freaking, get the monkey out the boat. Now we can just lock in, try to catch a couple more. But since we caught one on the old jerk bait, I figured let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's pick up the old rocket grub in that freaking fire color, bro. I mean, oh, here's one. Let me stop talking. Here we go. I will say them clouds are not looking friendly, not friendly at all. So hopefully it just holds off for a little bit longer. Let me catch a couple more fish. The radar said cloudy, but zero chance of rain. So. If it freaking rains, the little bit of trust that I have in my weatherman will be completely gone. I, I, let's not say weatherman, my weather apps. I, I never trust some things anyways, but hopefully we can get on something with a little bit of meat on his bones. I know they're in here. I've caught, I've personally caught six pounders, four pounders, pretty decent sized fish out of here. You just kind of got to weed through all the, the 12 inches. Then occasionally the, the fishing gods, I guess, just look down on you and they're like, all right, let's give this man some meat. I'm not asking for a lot. I mean, I'll take a three pounder, easy. The thing about this rocket grub, you can toss it up in there and work it nice and slow. And then on the retrieve, reel it back. And those two little phalange things, they get to kicking. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. This is coming to Kelly Bates really soon. I love this bait. I haven't caught a fish on it yet, but I love it. Just the action, the way it looks. I will say, I don't know what this stuff is on top of the water, but it's making a fire ass design. Like, <laughs> I'm sure it's something that's not probably good for the, the environment. Right there. See, they are up, shot. They are up in these weeds. Just freaking getting dirty. Getting dirty in the weeds. That's what they're doing. Getting freaking western in the weeds. Put that on a damn t shirt. They're getting western and I'm freaking catching the weeds. What the heck? Get out of here. I got this weighted. I might end up taking this weight off just so it's just one less thing that's gonna get caught up on this stuff because we are fishing. We're pretty much punching these baits into these weeds. Like we are all up in them. Cause that's where I, that's where I think the fish are. Well, I might end up taking it off. I think it just might be just a little too much. Oh my God. Bro, like they, that is in inches of water. That fish is getting dirty in inches of water. I 
Like, I just made a cast into wheat. He ate it. He ate it. Oh, my God. He ate it. Oh, my God. That was sick. That was sick. He ate it. Wow. I am literally... Do y'all see this? I am literally two inches off the bank. I might still have this fish. Wow. That was sick. That was so sick. Oh, my gosh. That was so sick. Please tell me I still have him. I just casted literally just onto the bank pretty much and this fish came up and ate it that was insane oh my gosh he came off he came off okay 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 he came off wow wow i'm telling you they're getting western in the weeds boys look at that he ripped a freaking flange off what the heck watch this please tell me he's still there that was so sick that was so sick wow fishing like this doesn't happen too much in kentucky like I'm sure I got some Florida boys watching this. Like, bro, I do this every Wednesday. Like, what are you doing? This doesn't happen. Fish don't be doing this. At least in the ponds around my house. Like, it just doesn't happen. So for that fish to be in literally half an inch of water and to come up and smash that bait like that, bro, that was insane. Wow. I mean, just straight ripped the leg off. Wow, <laughs> bro. The old Kelly bug. Best seller, by the way. Best seller right here. Oh my gosh, he came up and smelled. No, he came, off. he came off. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Dude, I was just working the jerk bait, like a, like a regular jerk bait. Stopped because it was like almost at the freaking surface of the water and a fish just came up and freaking smacked it. Took off running with it and then let go. Like, come on. Wow. Dude, the jerk bait is, is a player today. Let's go. It might've been a good fish too. The way he just came up and swallowed it. Man, how did I not get him? So far, we've had two really cool bites. <laughs> can't freaking, can't get a hook in them, but the bites have been pretty cool, so. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep. That was sick. That was sick. Wow. Dude. Wow. <laughs> Just a little guy, but that little guy wanted it. Wow. Dude, the jerk bait is killing. The jerk bait is killing. There's a log about right there. Cast it right up on it as soon, I mean, as soon as that jerk bait hit the water. I didn't even have my reel clicked yet. This guy smacked it. Appreciate you, baby. Fish number two on the old jerk. Let's go. Getting bit like that, like a nice blow up, always makes up for the fish being small. I mean, always. I will catch little half pounders like that all day as long as they're blowing up on it like that all right we have officially picked up the spinning combo i'm gonna throw around the old net but i don't have it on the net hook because when you're fishing with a net hook that hook is exposed and since we're fishing shallow throwing up in these weeds and stuff i actually got it on a shaky head here i'll show y'all got it on a shaky head so that way it's semi weedless you know still not the best i want to go flipping with it too much but i'm trying to get it right on the edge and just try to catch a fish on it real quick, just to say we did. This is the one that we combined watermelon red and June bug. So two of the best colors there are when it comes to soft plastics. And then you put it on the old Ned. Yeah, gonna be a fish catching machine. Um, excuse me? Something just broke me off. Something just broke me. I'm using... 30 pound braid, no leader, straight 30 pound braid. Just tied this knot this morning. Something broke me off, bro. What? I thought that I was just dragging it over long rocks. That's why I didn't set the hook or anything. It was like doop doop. And then I just drag it and feel nothing. And then doop 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 doop. Dragged it, lift up, there was nothing there. And then popped. I don't know. I don't I don't understand what just happened. Okay. Guess I'm gonna pick the old jerk bait back up. Wow, that was weird. Yep. Oh my gosh, it came off. Little guy. Little guy, little guy. Dang, that would have been the first fish on the on the little grub though. This one on baits, you're probably not gonna catch a lot of little fish on it just because it's it is a large presentation. 
Like that was the first one I think that actually got the hook a little bit. I think a lot of these little guys are just grabbing the feet. That's a good thing. Cause I'm trying to get something with a little bit of a little bit of weight to her, you know, a little bit of donkey donk on her or something. There it is. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this grub. You know what I should have done? I should have made some of the smaller ones too. Cause this is a I think this is a four and a half inch grub. I also have a mold for I think they're either two and a half or three and a half inch. So it's like the little brother of it. I bet they'd be smacking if we were using that one. What happened? What is going on here? How does this even happen? Oh my gosh, smacked it. Absolutely smacked it. Didn't get it though, what the heck? This must be a little fish right here. That's the third time in a row. Let's see, work it a little bit faster, maybe get a, more of a reaction bite. Yeah, they're getting it. They're getting Western down there. Oh yeah, Western in the weeds. That's the, that's the theme of today. Well, getting western in the weeds, getting bad in the bushes, getting freaky in the forest. All right, that's, that sounds a little weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, that fish literally just jumped two feet out the water. What the heck? That might be her. That might be her. Yup, yup. Oh, get out the bushes. What the heck? No. I might not have a fish. I might just be hung up now. Yeah, I think I'm just hung up. I don't feel anything. Dang. There he is. There he is. There we go. Let's stink and go, bro. Let's go. Literally like the same size fish, but that's a fish on the Kelly bug. Let's go. Get him in here. That's the best one of the day right there. That is the best one. Let's go. That's like a for real one pounder right there. Let's stink and go, baby. Thank you so much for biting. We've now caught a fish on the jerk bait that we made, the rocket grub, and now the old Kelly bug. Let's stink and go. Appreciate you. Let's go. Pass it up shallow. Let it just sit there. As soon as I lifted up the tip of my rod, do 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 do. He was there. All right, y'all. Half time. I think the old boat needs to go for a pee anyways. Let's see how much water is in here. Oh, gosh, yeah. All right, guys. We made four different baits. We've caught fish on three of them so far. The only one I haven't caught a fish on is the Ned, surprisingly, which I was only able to cast it like three times because of something broke me off. Again, 30-pound braid, something broke me off. So, might have just missed the biggest fish of my life, but we're not worried about all that. We're just going to re-rig. Hopefully, I even... I might not even have another hook for it. Uh-oh. I look he might not have another shaky head hook or even a Ned rig hook, honestly. While I'm digging, I also found, like I said, we've been throwing around this big boy right here. I think this is four and a half inch. This is the little guy. It's little brother. Oh gosh, yeah. That's, I think that's three and a half inch. I, I'm not for sure, but. Wow, this is kind of a rare L. I don't have another Ned rig hook. So we can't, we can't even fish that Ned. So whatever broke me off got my last shaky head hook. I might go for a swim. I might need to go for a swim. Find whoever did it. So there has been a long lasting battle with me and this old John boat on trying to get the leak to at least slow down. Can't figure out how to absolutely stop it, but I've slowed it down a lot. I've been out here fishing for three, three and a half hours now. Haven't pumped it once, have not pumped it once. This is how much water's back here. It's not terrible. It's really not that bad. Like it's just enough to really run the pump. That that thing seen better days. I think it's got something stuck in it, but this is what you gotta do with this old John boat. You can fish for about three, three and a half hours, come sit down, retie, do whatever you gotta do, pump her out, and you're good to go pr pretty much for the rest of the afternoon. Especially if there's just one person on here, like if it's just me, I pump like once every three hours. If there's two people on here, then you gotta pump about every hour and a half, two hours. Really, you don't have to pump, like you're not gonna sink. It's just if somebody's back here while I'm up there, water will come up like here on the sides and get like, get the carpet all soaking wet and get your stuff all wet, get your feet all wet and stuff like that. So just pump it to keep it low so you're not doing all that. So since I don't have another shaky head or Ned rig hook, I've caught a fish on every bait that I can I can use now. I just can't use the Ned. I don't have any Ned rig hooks or anything to really rig it up with. Kind of an L. I mean, really is an L. I got all these tackle boxes, not another hook for it, but. So technically, technically, we're not gonna be able to finish the create the catch challenge with all of the baits, but I feel like I I probably 100%, I could almost guarantee a fish if I threw the Ned for the rest of the afternoon. So we probably would have caught one on it. Yeah, I do. Think sound like a V8. But hey, 
we've caught one on everything else. We've had a couple really, really, really cool bites too. Coming off the trees, coming out of the freaking, just out of the weeds, getting western. I love it, bro. I love it. There's nothing like summertime bass fishing, especially in the afternoon. I, w I just wish it was sunny or it wasn't as cloudy. That was big mama. This right here, it's became a very fast. I, I feel like I say everything's a bestseller. This actually is, this color at least. Well, second best. Chameleon is first by far. That chameleon color, oh my gosh. But this one, this is a newer color too, lightning bug. It's purple and it's got green, like big green and blue flake in it. Yeah, sexy. I need one with some meat on it. That's what we're gonna try to do. I ain't gonna do it sitting here yapping my mouth, so let's get to fishing. Yep. There we go. There we go. Another one on the jerk, just a different color this time. Just a little chartreuse one I made. Dude, the jerk bait has been killing today, baby. Killing. There we go. Fish number, whatever. Mwah. There we go. There we go. On yet a different bait. Let's go. Just another bait. Damn. That one's on the papaw stick. Let's go. Dude, if this was a see how many fish I can catch on how many different baits challenge, I'd be killing it. That is the best one of the day. That's like a pound and a half. Let's go. Y'all see it on the old chameleon papaw stick. Oh yeah. Absolutely slammed it. Appreciate you, baby. Woo. Let's go. Dude, out from the tree. Let's go. That was sick. That was sick. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got a second win, baby. Bring him around. Bring him around. There we go. Let's go. On the old jerk bait. Let's stink and go. That was probably the coolest catch of the day. Got this big old tree here that hangs over the water. I skipped this jerk bait as far as I could back there. As soon as I lifted up, he was there. Let's go. The jerk bait has been an absolute fish catching machine today fish number whatever appreciate you there we go bro that is a blue eel no way that's the most aggressive ass or well i guess it's like a it's like a hybrid kind of like a rock bass Dude, you aggressive ass little thing. Look at that. Ate the old three and a half inch rocket groove. Wow. Little buddy was hungry. Hey, different species. Let's go. That was the first fish I've seen in quite some time. Quite some time. Poor buddy. I said the hook like it was a freaking six pounder. I will never understand bugs. You literally, they quite literally, literally have the entire world, the entire world to fly around, but they choose to fly directly into my eyeball, like nobody else's freaking, like bro, out of all the places to fly, you choose my eyeball. It will never make sense to me. Never, it will never make sense. Yep, there's one, there's one. It's actually a bass this time. Let's go. It's a little rocket grub. Ooh, got him right in the eyeball. My bad, buddy. There we go. Hey, the old rocket grub. The little mini. Cheese and rice. That man's doing somersault. There's one. Have it? I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, I do. Oh, we came off right in the boat. Right in the boat. 
Not a bad one either. Not a bad one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Chill. There we go, baby. That's gonna do it for the creating cats right there. Did it. On the old rocket grub in that color that we made. Let's stink and go. Appreciate you. All right, let's go home. But all right, guys, it's a few days later. I'm actually sitting here editing this video. I realized I didn't do an outro, like, at all. So, yeah, that is going to do it for the first episode of the Create to Catch series. If y'all want to see me keep this series going, let me know by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I had a lot of fun filming this, making this. It combines, like, everything I love. Making baits, making videos, and fishing. So, hey, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. JT, and I'm out.